What is up everybody? It's your boy Brian from American Auto coming at you today with some OBS Chevy stuff. And uh so anyway, we're doing body work on the OBS Chevy. Uh I'm taking a pause on this for just a minute because I gotta get tires on my white truck. But uh, we're gonna be right back in here on this. I've pulled the uh, seals back out of the door on this one, but we're doing the body work here. I've got a dent right there I've gotta fill in. And uh, got some other dents all up on here that's gotta be filled in and taken care of. But yeah, we're starting body work on this. Um, so we'll be after it in just a few minutes. That'll be just a second for y'all. But uh, it might be tomorrow for me because I got to do four tires. And all I got is a manual tire machine. I might show that. Maybe. Don't know. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, everybody. Tight. We're back. It's the next day. I'm tripping over air hoses because for some reason, no matter how you lay an air hose on the ground, it always gets... Yeah. Anyway, we've been. I've been busy on this truck all morning. Uh, getting it sanded down, finding all the low spots. So let me show you where we're at. So yeah, door sanded down, roof is sanded down. And then back here on this eight pillar, that's that corner I had to put in. You see there's dents all over the place, all over the place. So gotta get all those cleaned up all the way on that side. Yep. So we're gonna get these dents filled in and fixed up. And yeah, make it where when we lay the paint on it, it's gonna look beautiful. So, yep. Haven't sprayed the inside yet, but we'll get to it. I'm more focused on getting this out here cleaned up first. I gotta roll the truck out so I can get to the other side of that door and get it taken care of and taped up and all that stuff. But we're moving right on along, so. Yeah, you, yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's been a day. <laughs> we got the boat out. Decided to take it to the lake and have fun with that. Can you guess how that went? Not too good. B O A T stands for break out another thousand. Nah, this ain't gonna be a thousand dollars to fix, but. We did take on a bunch of water quick. And I don't know if you know, but boats don't work too good if there's water going in them instead of under them. So, we'll take care of that at a later date. In the meantime, I'm gonna hook the four-wheeler to it and put it back in its hole. So as you know, I keep the boat parked inside there on the other side of the jet ski that I've never ridden. <laughs> So if somebody wants that, it runs great, let me know. Anyway, but I gotta back that into there. And usually I do it with the truck, but today I've got the owner of the truck on his way. So I gotta get that in there before he gets here. So we are gonna use that. So let's get it. So I'll go ahead and tell you, I've never been one to have really good luck with, four, uh, with boats and stuff like that. I think in all the years that I've worked with boats and owned boats, we had one that was nice and didn't have any problems until we sold it. And the day we sold it, well, it didn't have a it, it didn't have a massive engine on it. Just a little outboard 75 or something like that. And it was only rated for like four people or a thousand pounds, something like that. Something about the same as this, right? And the guy that was buying it, well, he wasn't exactly a little fella. And he didn't want to listen to me. And he didn't know jack about boats. And so he got on it up there in the lake and just wide open throttled it with him, his very large girlfriend, and myself included, and ran it so hot that he blew the power head off of it. He also bought that boat too. No playing. So, but my point is, is while we had that boat, it was very nice. Never gave us a minute of trouble. 
had a radio on it and everything about like this one had a radio on it and everything and it was just it was a blast we enjoyed it for the whole summer until it was time for it to go and that's what happened to it this one i'll show you what happened here in one second let me get her hooked up so if you know boats you know this guy right here has to be sealed up now before anybody says anything i put the plug in a brass plug but in the midst of putting the brass plug in i did not notice that this was moving and I actually, when I noticed that it was moving was when I took the plug out, it wiggled. So I'm going to pull that out of there, silicone it up, and then put it back in there real good. Luckily, there's nothing wrong with the transom. But that's what the issue was today. And it leaked in enough water that it caused this little engine to have problems. So there's that. All within about 45 minutes, it went from, we put it on the lake wide open planed out got across the lake everything went good turned around come back it wouldn't hardly get up on plane <laughs> went and sat in the middle of the lake for probably 15 minutes and something told me to look down in the bilge and i did and saw the water coming in from there to the ramp which wasn't that far it wouldn't hardly even get up to speed at all so yeah anyhow so that's what happened to that. We'll fix that at a later date. So I'm gonna get it parked in here and I'll show you where we left off on the truck. So where we left off today is a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of bodywork. There are so many little dents in the cab of this truck, just going up around the window and shoot some of them. I filled in and then realized I gotta go back and fill in some more because they're still low. Uh, that one over there, I can see it from here. I don't know if you can on camera, but I can see it. It still has a divot in it. This right here still has a divot in it right there. So, yeah. And then all down that side there, same thing. This one here is so big that once I shave this down, I've got to go back over this a few more times to get it built up enough because you cannot, cannot get to it from in there. So, there's that. So, uh, we're just going to clean all this up and make it look better because that's sitting behind the bed, but we still want it to look good. Now that low, you can see all around the base of that window there, same thing. So, but we're getting it. We're getting it. There's one right here I missed. That I got to get. What is going on with this camera? Maybe that's a little better. Anyway, yeah, so we got to hit this one again, this one, and there's some more. But you can't really see them on here, but by hand, you can definitely feel them. But for tonight, I'm done. And yeah, I've got the grill heating up and we're going to scrub it off. Oh, got the new carpet kit in right here. Got all the door seals and all right here. So yeah, we're in good shape. So it's going to start really coming together in a hurry now, guys. So just keep your eyes posted. And yes, I roll the Harley out every day so it don't get dusty. <laughs> and still hadn't fixed that dent yet but we'll get it so anyway that being said that's it for tonight guys i will see y'all in the morning all right all right okay everybody we're back it's another day you can see i'm working on the truck been working on it most of the day just trying to get these holes filled in uh the owner of the truck came last night and looked at it and i had to show him a couple things uh, it looks like this truck got shot several times. I, I don't know. Anyway, so we're in the process now of filling in all the low spots, trying to get it all leveled out. We got a good bit done up there on the roof, but we're still working. So that's where we're at right at the moment, guys. Um, but it's coming together. It's coming together. So uh, just keep going. Just keep going until we're ready for primer. And then once we put the primer on, y'all know what comes next. Got to powder coat, or not powder coat it, but uh, guide coat it and see where we're at. So we, we gonna keep on rocking and rolling. Yeah. You can see where I had to do some work around that panel that I patched in and uh, blend that in real good. And this spot right here, 
was the main spot looked like it got shot with a 22. Actually, there's another dent there I gotta fill in. And another dent there, and another one there. See, they're all over the place. But he said that this truck was used as like a garbage truck or whatever for a long time. So that makes sense on why there's so many dents in all around the cab. But let me hop up here on top here and show you where we're at. All right, so all across here, it's tacky. But uh, all across here, we're having to fill in, fill in, fill in. Still another little low spot there. But, I mean, it's coming. Now, the rest of it, other than being, you know, a little rough to the touch, is good. But there was a couple high spots over here that I had to knock in with the hammer. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to keep rocking and rolling here, guys, and get it going. And, uh... See where we are from there uh there's still another low spot over here on this side this is the problem when you don't have enough room in your shop to work you're having to walk on the frame that you already cleaned up and all but i was looking to see it was right here it was right there because it's still a little low but that's where that other shot was. Yeah, that's starting to tack up good. So, yeah. Still a lot of work to do, guys. A lot, a lot of work to do. But we getting it. So. Uh, yeah. I will say this. If you don't enjoy doing this kind of work, then don't get into it. <laughs> I enjoy it because I, I want to see just how good I can make this truck look. Don't don't forget, guys, we still have the whole bed we got to do, too. We'll go get it in a couple days and bring it in. Uh, but I want to get this back board here done to where when I bring the bed in, I can set it on the truck enough to be able to work it. So, And then once it's time to paint, then we'll have to take the bed back off. Yeah, we got, yeah. It's going to be a whole process. We also still have some work inside here to do and paint to do inside there and then sound mat and then the carpet. But the carpet won't come till way later. Uh, there's no sense in trying to put the carpet in until I'm done with the rest of the body work. But the doors are turning out really good. They're just flimsy, extremely flimsy. So keep that in mind when you order your doors that, yeah, you can get them for a hundred and some dollars, but you're getting this quality. So he looked at that last night while he was here and he didn't realize when he ordered the doors how thin that metal is. So these are not auto metal direct, okay? These are a sub company out of Holly. So, and extremely, extremely sharp edges extremely sharp edges uh yeah there's still dried blood in the floor from where this door cut me the other day so yeah hopefully youtube don't kick this uh video out because of the blood and gore from down there <laughs> anyway i'll bring guys back in a few right, guys it's the next day and it's the end of this video for this week it's sunday so i'm not working today if I do, it ain't going to be much. But as per usual, I forgot to film an outro. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm notorious for that. But it's so hard to do when you're doing everything. Anyway, you can see right there, we did some more work on it yesterday. So we, uh, we went up this side here, got that knocked down. All that's really, really good. By the way, that uh, air file up there works wonders. But... Um, yeah, you can see where we're at right at the moment. There's two spots over there that I still have to work down. But once I get those worked down, everything is good. The rest of the cab is great. So, yeah. So that's going to be it on this video for this week. Uh, I'll get this one uploaded today. In the next video, coming next Sunday, we'll be getting the bed in here. Getting the um, bed body worked the body primered, the bed primered, 
and guide coded and we'll go up from there so there's going to be a few consecutive videos of just this truck but i promise i will sprinkle in some other stuff along the way uh, tell me what you think about the boat situation um but other than that guys that's gonna do it for this one make sure you comment like and subscribe and do me a favor please if it's only just one word i know i sound like i'm begging here I, you know what i am i am uh even if it's just one word just leave me a comment please um but tell me what you think yeah them doors something else <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Make sure you head over and check out Top Notch Trees 23 and Golden Ruster Bust. He's doing some awesome things. And, uh, yeah, you know the usual. Go check out everybody. Don't check them out. I, it don't matter. <laughs> but that's going to do it for this one, guys. I will see you next week, I think. Maybe.